Yeah, so it's set now, and it's a prime minister who kind of gets into power by mistake almost. He's the middle candidate of three in a leadership contest. So he gets voted for because he's half the party don't want one person, half the party don't want the other, and so he gets the votes that, to try and keep the other people out. So he kind of gets into office almost by accident. He doesn't expect to be there. He's suddenly got all this power. I think just watching the scenes take place in rehearsal, take shape, it's really clear how fast and exciting they're going to be. Each scene feels really sharp and has a journey to it and has a tremendous charge to it in the, in the rehearsal room. So I'm very hopeful that that will transmit to the stage when we've got the whole thing up and running fast. I think it's a thriller. He comes to, he comes to power with these ideals, with this absolute determination to put his ideas into practice, to change the country, to make things happen. And part of that is renegotiating or drawing up a new contract with the press, starting from scratch, only talking about policy, not talking about personalities. And we want, we're rooting for him, we want him to succeed. We're kind of behind him at the beginning and part of all that excitement. And then gradually we watch how these little compromises are made and these little adjustments take place. And he has to do things to protect his own family and we see kind of the whittling away of those ideals, I suppose. So, in a way, it's a thriller and a tragedy in the end. Um, and, and kind of the story of every politician, you know, that thing about every political career ends in failure. Um, and we sort of watch that taking place before our eyes and it's terrible to watch. We've had a great time right from the off. I mean. Roxana Silver, Artistic Director of Birmingham Rep, commissioned the play um, and, and offered it to us at the New Wolsey Theatre as a co-production. And I loved it the minute I read it. Um, and then met Steve and we talked about it and we got on very well right from the off. So as we speak, there's a lot of rewriting and batting the script backwards and forwards going on. We're, we're adjusting and changing and, and he's rewriting Act 2 this weekend. We'll have a new Act 2 when we start on Monday. So there's a lot of, in response to hearing the actors read it on the first day of rehearsal and, and what he's seen and what we've been talking about, he's, he's tuning it all the time. Um, and that's a really exciting process. Uh, we've just managed to stay, he's just stayed ahead of us in the rewrites. We're kind of following on behind, scene by scene. Um, but it means that the, the show is really sharp and fresh, I think. Well, it's obviously a critical time in terms of the relationship between all of us and our politicians, and politicians are held in more contempt than they've ever been, I think. Um, and I think the play attempts to describe why it's such a difficult job, why hanging on to your ideals and getting something done in the way that you believe it should be done is so difficult. And I think with a bit of luck, we'll understand that more at the end of the evening than we did at the beginning, and maybe. Um, feel a bit more for how, how absolutely difficult it is to do that job. Uh, fast and furious and funny.